Hello and welcome to Mystery Death Theater 5000. I am Paul, aka Castle Rook. And tonight, we're going back to Dark Tide. But I won't be going alone. Tonight, my co pilot, the ever faithful Chris, aka Jabberwocky. Yes. That's your cue, Chris. Oh, that's my cue. Uh, well, yeah. listen, the only kind of cue that I need is the Ace of Spades. You're going to get turned into a servitor for that. Oh, fuck. Anyway, moving on. We actually have a very special guest with us tonight. It's friend of the channel and previous guest, one of whom we absolutely adore. I don't know what's so the season. Let's survive Patty plays. Howdy. Also, I, I really wanted to break out into singing Ace of Spades when Chris said that there. <laughs> it was very hard to fight that temptation. You know, that's you gotta be careful though, because you know, if you if you're singing it and you're not Lemmy, you're not God, then that is considered heresy. That's it, that's why I had to fight the urge. I was like, I can't do that. I can't do that to your view your listeners, your viewers. I can't put them through that kind of pain. <laughs> As always though, we're here for riffs and to maybe cause chaos. Yeah. I am definitely here to cause chaos. That's that's my purpose for being here. Absolutely. So what's what's that, Patty? You want a level five difficulty level? <laughs> no <laughs> wait, I mean like fun chaos. <laughs> Not from software chaos, just like fun <laughs> chaos. <laughs> uh. Well we're gonna start we're gonna start with an easy one tonight, folks. So <laughs> join us as we take on the hourglass. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Let's go. I'm pretty sure I've played this one, and I remember liking this. Yeah, so I, I haven't had a chance to actually really talk about my own experiences playing this, because last time we recorded this, I did not own the game at the time. And now I do, thanks to a very generous donation from a um, from a benefactor. Um, but Likewise. Uh, <laughs> oh, the Paddy's got his uh, combat shovel. Oh, yep. nice. Yeah, you got combat your... shovel is the way to go. Also, I just love how you're all clearly like good at this game, experienced, and then I'm just there like the clear, absolute noob. I love it. <laughs> yeah, you're the you're the rookie. Chris is the experienced guy, and I'm the guy who's like three days away from retirement. <laughs> you know don't that, say that. You know what? The, the, don't 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 say that you're three days away from retirement, man. That's that's that. You're just asking for it then. Yeah, but that makes me Danny Glover. That's I'm Danny Glover. I'm I'm immortal. I cannot die. Watch now as Patty leads me into the demon host and I get killed. Just immediately. I don't like I have no idea what a demon host looks like, but I'm pretty sure that as soon as I see it, I will uh I will green glow. see it in in great in great detail. Oh. My guy is clearly the rookie here. Look at him, like he's just so fucking inexperienced. I love it. Yep. Is so, what they call in comparison to what uh, Paul typically plays, I'm playing so as a psyker, which which allows me to do some magics. Meanwhile, I'm just playing as the guardsman and blasting shit open with my shotgun. I'm a sharpshooter who likes to hit people with a shovel. So you must be a Krieg trooper. That's a joke for the 40k fans. They'll understand. <laughs> Somewhere that has tickled Henry Cavill's grundle <laughs> tremendously. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you too would like to tickle Henry Cavill's grundle. <laughs> I will definitely be like sharing and subscribing to this video. Oh, here, here shit. Thank you, Hadron. Hi. Bye. Hi, bye. As I was saying before we started recording, though, this is a good time for Warhammer fans in terms of games and stuff. There's an abundance of them, and they're all of a pretty good quality, like, if not great quality. Yeah, it's, and, you know, to be honest, I feel like this one has really vastly improved with the patches that they've uh, done for it as well, because the... Uh, the Psyker was pretty hard out the gate. 
you know, in the first couple of months. And uh, they've balanced the peril system, where when you cast magic, you kind of get, you know, sort of called by the void, and your peril Ooh, increases. Shit. Yoink. Oh, you got pricks. Great. Hey, how dare you? Did they dare? Oh, oh, shit. Come. They dared, but... They dared, they did. Oh, I shoveled that fucker today. Nice. I shot that guy's face off. There's a lot to be said for a good shovel. Something my father always said. I think in one of my scripts I had somebody get decapitated with a shovel. Nice. Well, obviously not for them. Whoa, hey, hey, hey. I'm at the Medicaid station. Excuse me, sir. Oh, yeah, Excuse here we go. Me. The Dust Bowl. Oh, yeah. Making my way oh. downtown, killing enemies. Killing faster. I think we had a little bit of a talk about it before we started recording, but in terms of your favorite Warhammer games, what are some of your you guys' favorite Warhammer games out there? Um, I quite like uh, Higher Gun, which we played over the last couple of years. Yep. Yeah, Higher Gun's pretty good. Oh, shit, fun. yes. Yeah, Higher Gun is really good, actually. Oh, fuck. The uh, one that I've actually had the most experience with, of all things, is um, one of the Dawn of War games. I played the demo for it a bunch. Oh, nice. Um, I do love the Dawn of War franchise. I also have yeah. played... Oh, I think they're coming from our flank, by the way. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, I see him. Oh. I'm throwing a grenade. I think we're... Okay. Yeah. Oh, the okay. side. Oh, shit. Oh, whoa! Sorry, Carol. I shot Carol in the back of the head, but I think he's okay. I think he's fine. Uh, the other game that I ended up playing was actually the uh, the 3DO port of Space Hulk. Oh, wow! Yeah, we also oh, did shit. that last year. Oh, no, no, no. Nice. We did the, uh, the, piece, the, yeah, the, did. the newer one, right, Deathwing. Yeah. Oh, Deathwing, yeah. And Deathwing is really good, but Jesus, it's hard. I'd like to see Grendel Yeah, because it's just pure chaos, because... There were three of us playing, and we all decided to go with flamethrowers. I remember uh, back in the day on my old 386 system many, 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 many moons ago, playing like the old, old Space Hulk, which was basically like a board game, but it was also bastard hard. Oh, yeah. yeah I've, I've, seen oh, yeah. I've seen footage of that. And that's what the uh, the yeah, 3DO version know? I played was a lot was like a high-res version of that. Oh, okay, I get you. Funny story, I think it's it. um, the last time they actually released Space Hulk as a tabletop game, there is it sold out within about Go half an hour, there. an hour. Wow. Holy shit. <clears throat> what was the name of that? Was it the fantasy one was called Hero Quest, right? The fantasy yeah, Hero like, Quest. The equivalent of Space Hulk for, for fantasy was Hero Quest. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, pounding oh and that's another so I asked when I was in that tabletop oh, shop oh hello there, Bad I, I, Bad hey dog. leave Chris alone leave him alone um there we go. all right we gotta get those energy cells oh shit okay energy cells we gotta find those oh hello oh hi that, that really is <laughs> this, this game is the oh hi, hi and then shoot something in the face game <laughs> I love how um, oh, nice. most weapons have like a secondary fire. Like for the shotgun, it's a uh, it's a solid slug, it does extra damage. For some of the las guns, it it turns on the flashlight. Right. Just just to make it clear how useless the las gun is <laughs> in this universe. <laughs> oh, you do not know the memes. For the last gun. Oh shit. Ah, yeah, there's bravo. one ammo. You bastards. 30 ways to use your last gun. Trade up to a slightly better weapon. <laughs> uh, use it to heat up a can of beans. 
attach the las gun as a laser sight to a better weapon. Ah, god damn it, dog again. Oh shit. Yeah, I got a little separated from the pack there. Oh, oh there's no. okay. There's the icon for the uh, objective. As as one can tell, I have not actually played this in a bit. I have been very busy with uh, a lot of other stuff. Life things. Whoa, whoa! Get out of here. It Hey, 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 back up, back up. Everything's good in the world, I've got my shotgun. Yes, that's all that matters. Oh, shit. Oh, hello. Loads of them. Okay, so there is a... Oh, it's up there. Okay. I didn't go high enough. Oh, that's what oh, I got this guy. Whoa, oh. Uh, back it up, boys. Oh. Back it up, Boomer. boys. Come on. Back it up, back it in. <laughs> Let it begin. Uh oh, where be the boomer found boy? It. I got it. Oh, there it is. Oh no. Yeah, appreciate that, buddy. It's so G. Okay. Oh god damn it. Oh. All right, where are you? We could cover my back. I didn't even know that could happen. There we go. There we go. All right, I did a thing for the objective. Okay. For the emperor. No wait, fuck that guy. Okay. Uh, yeah, he, he's in a chair on Earth. What's he gonna do, Floss? Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. He's reaching into the wall. Huh? Yep. Sometimes they that turbine shut down. Be nice. One of my favorite lines of dialogue was in one of the Dawn of War games. It was to walk softly and carry a big gun. Um, fucking beautiful. You know um, that's actually based on a Teddy Roosevelt. Yes, yeah. Carry a big stick, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Some of the voice acting in Dawn of War was so good, though. And some of it was just so bad. Like, <laughs> do you hear the voices, too? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. No. That's terrible. No, I don't. Oh, you're a big boy. Well, Teddy is some ammo to hear. Oh, shit. Shit. Hey, big boy. Ow! Wow! <laughs> Ouch. Mean. I just love how you're just like walking around, Chris, fencing away. Yeah, you know, <laughs> as you do. I'm a fancy lad, okay? How about you wear, you? Like, that's you a very wear. fancy jacket. <laughs> A million worlds. And the thing I love about the shotgun with the slug basically turns it into a sniper rifle. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh. oh, big motherfucker. Uh oh. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Well, I got his aggro at least. You're welcome. Oh no, don't look at me. Keep looking at Chris, it's fine. Alright, big boy, let's chop you off. Die by my shovel. Got him. Nice. What can I say except you're welcome? Ah. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, nice. Danke, danke. There you go. Hells yeah. God, I, I still am blown away aesthetically by the amount of ge geometrical detail in every fragging level in this. Yep, really fucking impressive, Ares. I will say this, whatever your thoughts about the world itself, the amount of detail in the in their settings and their yeah. locations. Yep. And I, I appreciate like how this geography has a feeling of world building to it. Oh. Hello, yeah. This, this is a shanty town. This is built up like over a couple hundred years. Oh. Maybe thousands of years. Oh. Ah, uh, oh, there we go. 
Uh, pads, if you want to heal up, there's a medicaid over there. Medicaid oh, cheers, down. thank you. Also, true an ammo crate down here. Didn't even realize I had it. In other words, group up. Aha. Come on, Carl. I'm just. I hope this. I hope that this Carl. Carl he can't hear Carl. us, but. To you. But I'm. I'm hoping he sounds like Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. <laughs> Come on, Carl. <laughs> Nope, that's so exciting. that's another that's another thing I've been doing actually uh, in my off stream since I've stopped streaming temporarily. I am um, I was I re started rewatching Supernatural after I finished watching it, and then I was like, no, this is a problem. I, I'm I'm addicted. So I was like, I need to watch something else. So I decided to start rewatching The Walking Dead from the very beginning again, mm. and then I realized that I am a true sadomasochist. Um, <laughs> by the time I hit season four, roughly, I was like, why why have you? Why have you done this yourself? What is yeah? What is yeah I was going to say like yeah. By the by, end of season two was when I began to realize okay, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to like this show from here on out. And by the time the governor gets introduced, it's kind of yeah. I could see the pattern. Oh, it's like, it's really a on the first episode. Oh my god! Like the first season is a masterpiece of film of TV show. I like. I think personally, I think Darabont handled it so unbelievably well. Cause, like he's Frank Darabont. He's, yeah, he's good at this. He's good stuff. <laughs> um, but it was like, as, oh, that explodes. Um, as, you can see the second Darabont leaves, just how much. Oh yeah. How fast it goes downhill. And uh, um, they went. And didn't they choose her like three showrunners in two years or something? Yeah. And each one just did something completely wild and weird and just undid everything the previous one had done. It was just a mess. Absolute mess. Yeah, here's hoping they um, do not have a similar result. Uh-oh. Hound! Hound! Patty, it's on your ass! Oh! Hi, doggy! This is why you don't run ahead. I think I suffered the same fate Chris did a while ago. Oh! Sniper. Oh, on you. Nope. Oh. Thank you. And that's sniper dealt with. Oh, thank God. Yeah, I tried one of the new levels last night, and uh, four snipers in the fog. That was fun. Oh. Fuck. Four snipers in the fog is also an incredible name for a folk indie band. Oh, yeah. With, like, uh, where they do old um, old war songs. Okay. Yeah, like so World War One era. Yeah, like exactly. Up, that's actually starting to hurt me. Medipack down. Retreat, imbeciles! The barrel explodes. Carl, did you? Ow! Wait. Ow! Ow! Carl! Carl, Carl. stop blowing shit up, Carl. Carl, what are you doing there? Focus on duty, and we may prevail. You were wasted as an enforcer. The guard could have used you. My thanks. But I'm not certain the military life would have suited. You just have to shoot him. Found you anyway, didn't I, 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 I may have shot Carol. Life was fair. I did too. Hells brings it on himself. I'm just saying. I, I love that, Paul. I love that our characters are griping at each other in a very similar way to the way you and I gripe with each other. <laughs> that's not griping. That's banter. Oh, whoa. Oh. Took a second for that to load. That took a second to load. Yeah. Oh, I mean, hey. Oh, hey, it's the Flesh Room. Hey, Nathan. How's it going? Hey, is this Joel Lynch's new movie? You know, maybe it is. <laughs> oh, Ow. hi, lads. All right, here's. All right, I got a grenade going. Got it. Dead, but still stinking. Yep. Dead but still stinky. Beautiful. So I, what I love about the shotgun in this is that you can do that thing of like, okay, you uh, need to reload. You don't have to wait till the shotgun's fully reloaded to keep shooting. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. So you, you just keep like, pump in an extra shot. And then go, yeah. The infinite shotgun. Not that infinite, I don't have much ammo left. 
Hey, hey, oh, back no. off. Fucking tentacles. Tentacles. No. Oh, very good. It would be we so weird if that they replace the sound effect where every time you cut a tentacle, it, it just goes, ah, ah. <laughs> There's a mod somewhere for that. Absolutely. It exists. In the dark realms of the internet somewhere. Okay, now we gotta restore the bridges. Oh, Carl! I need Carl, you're getting, you're getting attacked there. Oh, all up. Okay, we're coming, we're coming. Hey, we had we had some demonic growth to purge. I need to take a quick moment to point it to just state how much of a banger the soundtrack in this game is. It's so... And yes, yeah. it is on Spotify. Nice. Something, something we found with um, a lot of 4K games, especially, the music is just so good. Oh, it's so world. good, man. Yeah, Zaccato's uh, score for... Um, Hired Gun really blew me away, too. It's, oh, I remember that, yeah. Yeah, it's very Doom. The one in uh, Hired Gun. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that feeling very Doom-esque. Tentacle Chan? No, stop it. I'll keep the I'll keep the the mob busy. Oh, I got ammo. Shovels. We ask you a question. <laughs> All right, Carl's getting the bridge. Oh shit! Carl's getting on my last nerves. That's what Carl is. Carl. Carl. Carl's work. Carl's work. <laughs> That's the German version. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. I think we're... All right, headed to the next level, I think. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Thanks for waiting. Yeah, oh, Kyle, you're actually very sweet. He waited for me. Yeah, he was covering our tail as we were getting to the second tier, too. Yeah. <sighs> so, Paddy, I don't know if you know this, um, but... Every class in the game has a unique grenade type. Guess the Ogrens is. What? It yeets a box of grenades. <laughs> That's incredible. That's exquisite. Oh. Many wow. Voices. In my head again. Oh shit. Back it up. Okay. Aligned. Okay. Hold nice. For realignment. Okay, so we got this. Hold. Hold. Hold the line. Oh, bastards! Oh wow. Oh, that was a nice grenade. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Nice. Anybody... I'm throwing down health. Oh shit! Oh, I see you. Oh wait. I think I'm pretty okay anyway, but I'll I always say free help when it's on. Oh, hey, back up, back, oh yeah, yeah, crowd control. Yeah, I'm getting in there. Okay, remind me next round. Bring the chain axe. Oh. I got you covered, dude. There we go. Okay, okay, more holding. Hold the ground. If you don't so stand your ground, the wood go you to the Imperium. I know. <laughs> so, um, jokes aside, this is actually kind of a coincidence because this um, recording session came about last minute, but um, happy coincidence because a couple of weeks ago. 40k just entered its uh, tenth edition of the game. Very nice.
Okay, there's actually nothing following us. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. I was, I was like, are we some? <laughs> yeah, sometimes there is. <laughs> it's not worth taking the chance. Just love all the grenades. Oh, That's man. It. Can't take them with you. Oh, wait, you can. Oh, did I. How much did I Oh, wait, wait, wait. Because I'm such a new baby at this, I leveled up too. Yeah, yeah. I'm at max level, so I'm basically <laughs> like, this is wasted on me. Just give me money instead. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm unlocking a bunch of new shit. Oh, there you go. All right. So, what did you think of your first, uh, your first match there, bud? This is sick. This is like, this is probably one of my like, and I'm not trying to be offensive to the game when I state this, but this is probably one of my favorite Left 4 Dead clones that I've played. Oh yeah. Um, I, this yeah, felt fun. more like the Left 4 Dead successor I wanted Back for Blood to feel like. Exactly. That's that's kind of what I was going to get at, is that this is kind of where I, I, I was hoping this type of game would go. Um, like, And then obviously, as you said, the setting, like, and, and as you said even as well, Paul, like, even if you don't aren't a fan of the franchise, like, or don't know it that well or anything, I still think this game doesn't do anything to alienate people who aren't familiar with it. Which yeah, is awesome. it's... For the, for the very fact that it's in a 40k universe, it doesn't feel like it's overly 40k. Yeah, it doesn't feel like you need to know a million bits of lore and things that like... I mean, again, all of that will help you with understanding, but you don't have to. It's optional. I'm trying to see I what the fuck I can actually buy. <laughs> Let me take a bit. Hey! There he is. God damn it. I was hoping to buy a, a, a knife instead of my uh, my shovel. Although I do love my shovel. God, I really sound like I'm from. I, I really sound like I'm from Claire now. I love my <laughs> shovel. I, I'm hearing that in Father Jack's voice. It's like I love. My I love shovel. my shovel. <laughs> Ooh, I actually can. I, I think I'll get a las gun, guys. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, I have got a Katachan Mark IV Devil's Claw that's been anointed. Katachan, no. <laughs> I'm stuck, Katachan. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, funny thing about that, I, I found out recently they had to kind of, like, change the pronunciation. No um, way. Yeah, because a lot of people are making that joke. Oh, no. So it's no oh. longer Katachan, it's Katakan. Oh, which, uh, oh, yeah, okay. Sure. Which, it just makes me think of um, Shaka Khan. Yeah, exactly. It's just created a new set of jokes. Yeah, it's not even... Yeah, exactly. You just changed the jokes. You didn't make them better. It, you've changed the joke. It's still a joke, but you've changed it. Right. <laughs> so, um, just for reference as well, folks, that planet, Katakan, or... Katachan, whatever you want to call it. It's um, it's basically a jungle death world. It's one of the deadliest, but it is actually considered the most dangerous death world in the galaxy. Wow. And oh, because they never been Limerick. Limerick. Sure, Patty, where do you think the golden throne on Terra is? <laughs> that so makes so much sense. <laughs> basically, though, Games Workshop used to do this thing in the kind of like 80s to early 2000s where they would have their human soldiers, the Imperial Guard, based upon real-world regiments. So one faction would be kind of based on the modern military. Um, another would be kind of based on West Point. Katachan, which is what I use. Screw it. I'm not going to call it Katakan. It's based your, on Vietnam jungle drums. fighters. Oh, oh God. Got it. So... That's, that's your bit of folklore for me, folks. <laughs> and that's where we're going to the end, end this episode, folks. Join us next time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time with these three handsome gents taking on all oh, this wonderful chaos hordes. I have the exact same hair as you, Chris. Because, because we, kn we know a good hairstyle when we seize it. It's the only decent one. <laughs> Alter than my like fantastic that. Motley Crue haircut. <laughs> it depends on which member of Motley Crue it is.
Yeah, it's definitely Nikki Six, 100%. It is not Vince Neil, I can assure you of that. What, not Tommy Lee? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> 